Hello, I'm Kareem from Shake Space, and right now we're going to be talking about preserving ginger. Now there are a few ways you can preserve ginger. You can pickle ginger, dry it out, like dehydrate it, and you can grate it up and that's a good way to preserve it as well. However, the method that we're going to try today is we're going to candy it. So here are the ingredients that we're going to need to get that done. About a pound of sliced ginger, five cups of water, a skillet, pretty deep skillet, a spoon, and we're going to need to weigh the ginger at a certain point to balance off the amount of sugar that we're going to need, which is why I can't exactly tell you how much sugar you need just yet. But keep a measuring cup on hand. We'll figure that out as we go along. It all depends on how the ginger cooks and how much it weighs at a particular time. And last but not least, we need a wire rack. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our water and our ginger, we're going to put it into our pot. Now it's very important to know that when choosing your ginger, fibers are a no-no when it comes to candy, candy ginger. What I would suggest you do is try to find young ginger wherever it is you shop for your ginger. Usually have the, they usually have a thin skin on the outside, a lot more translucent than some ginger you may find with a thick husk. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually allow this to boil up on medium high heat. As soon as that happens, I'm going to turn it down to medium heat and let it cook for about 30 minutes. So it's been 30 minutes and our ginger is pretty much cooked. What we're going to do from here, we're going to turn the fire off. And we're going to go ahead and drain this liquid off into my colander. So, we're going to get our ginger nice and drained. And I'm actually going to reserve one third of the liquid that came from when it was cooking. So my measuring cup's over there. And I'm going to measure out a third of a cup. A little much. It's about right, third of a cup. Okay, so now that we've got our ginger all drained, we got our reserve off a third of a cup uh, into our measuring cup. I'm gonna go over here and grab our trusty scale. Now, this bowl weighs about two and a half. Ounces. I'm going to take that into consideration when weighing. Now the reason I'm weighing this ginger is simply because I have to put equal amounts of sugar as the ginger weighs. It weighs 1.15 pounds. So right now this is what we're going to do. Put my flame back on. Take my ginger, put that in, my reserve, add that in, and I'm going to weigh out some sugar. almost hit it right on the nose. I think I'm close enough. I'm going to take this and add this to the pot. Very important you get out all the sugar because we measured it. So this is the type of consistency 
that you're actually going to be looking for. It takes about 15 minutes to reach this, this point. What we're going to do, we're going to transfer the ginger over to our wire rack. So you want to actually get it all out before the sugar starts to burn. We pretty much got it all out. Got to work very quickly. Um, what you want to do with this is let this sit here on the wire rack for about 15 minutes. Then you want to store it in an airtight container. One of those plastic containers with the tops are pretty good. If you line the bottom of it with um, some paper towels, and it'll stay fresh in there uh, for you whenever you like to use it. So this is how, or one way of preserving ginger.